April showers bring May flowers. Bike blogger here. It's raining. It's gonna be some heavy thunderstorms today. I'm gonna try and uh, avoid riding in them. It's really coming down now though. Woo. I try to avoid riding in the heavy rain. It's gonna be raining all day though, I think. So I'm gonna get soaked. Those are my disc brakes. April showers bring May flowers. So the top of, of today is just, well, pretty much rain. Uh, let me turn my light on. Got my rear light on already. Uh, interesting sound my uh, this disc brakes make I could go with uh, organic uh, compound uh, brake pads and they might be quieter although they wear out faster um so yeah, I'm getting pretty soaked. I got a spare uh, change of clothes at work. I'm probably gonna have to use them today. Ah. Rainy, rainy, rainy. Yeah, so. Yeah, today's topic is just rain, pretty much. Uh, uh. make a left up here. Alright. Oh, nasty. Nasty water. Um, the rain sort of slow down for a second here I think uh, I checked the radar before I left as I usually do and uh, it looked like I still had a little bit of time but I think the storms moving in faster than I anticipated ah. um, yeah the state of California I think they're in like their fifth year of a drought and I just recently read they uh, their governor, let's see, let's make a left here. Their governor uh, just uh, ordered uh, all state, I don't, I don't know exactly what it was, if it was like all state uh, operations, buildings like schools and stuff, I guess, to consume 25%, I should have stopped there. 25% less water. Um, it's the first time ever that a uh, government bureaucrat has told people to stop consuming as much water. So it sets a precedent now. Um, I don't know how they monitor that, I guess. If your water bill comes in and you, you uh, did not reduce your use. Uh, let's go straight. Hopefully there's no people on the walkway. Um, at the fine you or something, I don't know. They said places like uh, golf courses and whatnot, I think are also affected. Non-essential water use. 
Although I guess that would be considered essential for a golf course because that's where they make all their money keeping their grass nice and green. Ah. Woo. Yeah, I would say don't be afraid to bicycle in the rain. It's actually quite fun. Yeah, so last time I was in California, I was fortunate enough to go to Yosemite Fall, uh, Yosemite National Park, and uh, Yosemite Falls has been running dry. So the, the waterfall wasn't even running because they have so much. They've had a drought in the state, so that was uh, unfortunate. Didn't get to see that. Uh, the national parks are now raising their rates. Haven't done that in five years. Price of admission. Only a third of the parks that actually charge admission within the United States. So that's sort of big news. Okay. One time I cannot avoid riding in the rain is uh, when I'm going to work. Otherwise, I usually have the opportunity to just wait, like when I'm coming home or if I wanted to go out for a lunch ride. I don't have to if it's raining. I just may decide not to depending on if I have a spare set of clothes or not at work I can jump into you could also probably just keep some uh, cycling clothes with you at work um, that's another option as well across here Okay, that was a little dangerous. Probably shouldn't have done that. I figured since the truck was there, obviously no one can plow through the truck, but the truck had already passed. It just passed the fast lane and I was entering it. If there was someone speeding, I could have gotten really hurt. Gotta wake up here, not make stupid decisions like that. We all make stupid decisions occasionally and uh, trying to clean the lens there. Doesn't mean we necessarily deserve to be punished for it. Okay. Getting closer to work here. Riding my cross bike, also known as my rain bike, because it's got the full fenders. It's like a big puddle here. Okay. Very light rain right now. Although it is not sprinkling, it is oh, still raining. I do a crappy job of avoiding potholes and stuff, I must say. Should be a little easier on my bikes. I try to usually just look, you know, look to where I'm going, like sort of when you're on a mountain biking trail or anything really, you want to look to where you're going. Like if I want to go over there, I'm sort of eyeballing over there, I'm looking where I'm going to go. I'm not necessarily looking directly in front of me. 
Well, I need to keep watching that too, because a lot of potholes. That might be part of my problem, hitting them, as I look too far ahead. Gotta, gotta scan a little closer. I'm used to looking far ahead though, because I've driven a car for so many years. Car goes faster, and you tend to look further ahead when you're in a car. I still think it's a good idea on a bike too, that'll look pretty far ahead. Stuff coming up. Okay, so now the rain has sort of slowed down, 21 miles per hour. Uh, now that the rain has sort of slowed down, it's, it's giving me a chance to dry off because I'm bicycling sort of quickly, so I'm sort of trying to air dry myself. I wear synthetic materials which wick sweat well and also dry fast the disadvantage of synthetic materials though is uh they retain odors worse than uh breathable materials i think just like with everything there's always a downside you gotta decide what's more important to you I'm just flying along. This bike has a lower gear than my uh, my other bike I rode earlier this week. I wonder if I should just lower that gear on that bike too. I do prefer, I do think I prefer to be able to spin faster than go faster. I come from a jogging background, so I have strong legs, for sure. However, I would, uh, I would argue that my heart is stronger than my, uh, and lungs may be stronger than my, uh, legs. So something with more, uh, Something that requires more aerobic activity. Uh, maybe better suited for me. Some people have very strong legs and they can push a heavier, uh, higher gear. Uh, I do feel a little silly though when I'm sort of chugging along like a locomotive train up a, up a hill totally not efficient so it comes with the territory of being single speed though got to find a gear that works for you for me it's about 52 uh, 52 teeth on the front ring and uh, 19 on the back or an equivalent would be like uh, 46 on the front and 17 on the back, I think. Not certain. So the rain has mostly died down now. I'm almost to work. I know there's a big storm coming within the next hour, so we'll see about that. I wouldn't very much recommend you ride in a thunder or a lightning storm. People have been killed. In circumstances like that even though it is rare bicycles are made of metal see you next time <laughs>